calling Israelis colonizers. Jews are indigenous to the land of Israel. We have been living there for close to 4,000 years. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Hello beautiful people, how are you and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Guys, this is what we are dealing with in the world. She claims to say people want to rewrite history, but in the actual sense, she is the one who is rewriting history. These people think we don't know their history. So just to give them a glimpse of their background, knowing that the world cannot be fooled anymore, listen to what the former US President Harry Truman said about these people. But don't think that decision to recognize Israel is an easy one. I had to make a compromise with the Arabs and divide Palestine. The Jews wanted to chase all the Arabs into the uh, Tigris and Euphrates River, and the Arabs wanted to chase all the Jews into the Red Sea. And I was trying, what I was trying to do was to find a homeland for the Jews and still be just with the Arabs. But when you go into a thing of that kind, the people you help most are the ones that get most angry with you. Both of them were against me on the situation, but as President of the United States, I paid no attention to them, carried out what I thought was right, and I had the support of the Congress, and I could do it, which is unusual in these days. Can you tell us specifically that a lot of Jewish people were against you, too? Well, oh, well, there were a lot of Jewish people against me because they wanted the whole of Palestine. As I say, they wanted to drive all the Arabs into the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. Okay. I also antagonized a lot of people by recognizing the state of Israel as soon as it was formed. And I, it was my hope that they would have a homeland where they could operate. So when the time came for that, we set up the Israeli government in uh, Palestine, moved some of the Arabs out, and they were not moved out and thrown, or thrown out. They were compensated for the land that they had to give up. The Jews organized a, a government over there and it's been a successful one ever since. They've done things over there that never have been done in that part of the world before. And while it's a small republic, it's an energetic one. They, not long ago, they had a fuss with Egypt. And if they hadn't been interfered with by the then president of the United States, Nasser would have been down, down in the Sudan where he belongs. <laughs> that won't help diplomatic relations. So you see what the president of the United States is saying. He and his counterparts, he and his European friends sought to find a place for the Zionists. And they found this place in Palestine. Now, you need to realize and remember that before they took them in Palestine, they wanted to take Uganda or Kenya as a new Israel. Then the government of Kenya, the government of Uganda rejected to host them as refugees because when you study history, you know that everywhere where they went, they wanted to take over. They wanted to colonize the people and take over the land. Hence, in Europe, they were chased out. And in Africa, they were not needed there. Because we were just from dealing with colonialism and slave trade in Africa. So we couldn't have another form of slavery being reintroduced to the continent. That's why they were taken to the Middle East. And what have they done in the Middle East? Ethnic cleansing. They have enslaved the people, the original people of the land of Palestine. They don't want the Palestinians to do anything in that land. Now we have delusional people like this woman claiming to say they have been there for 4,000 years before Christianity, before other religions, they were there in that land and they are original people of the land. Trying to whitewash history just like they have done in the past. Just like what they have done to Africa. Just like what they have done to the other parts of the world. Whitewashing history. Maybe she thought people are naive and people don't know history or their background of these Khazars, these Zionists. And people who don't have the knowledge of who these Zionists really are, they will tend to believe a lies. Tend to believe a propaganda. This is how people are brainwashed. If you don't know history, you will be easily manipulated. Hi, my name's Miriam. 
I'm an Orthodox Jew and I share what my life is like. They used propaganda to dehumanize us to vilify us, to make us seem like we were less than humans. So then when they went and did horrible things, they felt like their actions were justified. If you say, I'm not anti-Jews, I'm anti-Zionists, who do you think Zionists are? This is propaganda, once again, being used to justify the king of Jewish people. Another propaganda term being used is calling Israelis colonizers. Jews are indigenous to the land of Israel. We have been living there for close to 4,000 years, and Judaism is the oldest Abrahamic religion. Jews have lived in Israel before Christianity and Islam existed as religions. And if anybody tells you other otherwise, they're trying to rewrite history. Now there's gonna be two types of people in my comment section that are going to be spreading hate. One, the people that are truly anti-Semitic and are going to be furious that I am calling out these truths. And two, the people that don't want to admit that they fell for the propaganda. The same type of propaganda that the Nazis used against us. We say never again, but never again is right now. I need you to use your critical thinking and realize that terrorist groups like Hamas, Hezbollah, ISIS, don't just want Zionists dead. They want all Jews dead. The former leader of Hamas is calling for a day of jihad, a day of terror, to be taken against Jews everywhere in the world. This is literally history repeating itself. And one last note, you can support Jews living in Israel and still condemn the actions of the Israeli government. Because in war, nobody wins. That is why history is very cardinal in human minds. It's very cardinal in societies. It's very cardinal in human civilization. It's very cardinal even in human history itself. That is why you find that these colonizers, wherever they went, what did they do? They first burned the libraries, destroyed the history of that people so that they can put a false narrative for people to believe in. Now, this video just never went like this. She apologized later after facing a backlash from people knowing that she's spreading out false information. These people know that they're not indigenous to the land, but they want to occupy the land. They want to take over the land. They want to abolish the Palestinians. We saw this happening even in South Africa. When the Boers from Netherlands entered South Africa, they later on called upon the Germans. They later on called upon the Jewish, the Zionists. They later on called upon the uh, Belgians. Up to today, there are some Boers, there are some whites who claim they are indigenous to South Africa and South Africa is their land. The world cannot be manipulated anymore. We know history, we know facts, and we can see propaganda when it's being prepared or propaganda when it's trying to be enforced on people to push a narrative and that we are not going to take. So that's being said, guys. See you in my next one biases get in the way of some recent posts and that was wrong i have built this platform on love and acceptance of all i have always said that no matter what your race religion or sexual orientation is all are welcome here but i failed the muslim community with some biased posts and for that i want to apologize I'm going to take some time away and learn more about my Muslim cousins, specifically the Palestinians and their history and heritage. In my heart of hearts, I think the only answer is unity. We are stronger when we are together and love and support one another. I may not be able to fix the world out there, but I can be held accountable for my actions here. And I will continue to strive to make this a safe place for everyone. I do not support the actions of the Israeli government, and I do not support genocide. Any life lost is a life too many.